Whoever wants to know the heart and mind of America had better learn baseball. This is a quote from Jack Hayes Barzoon in his essay on baseball, describing how essential baseball is to American culture. Baseball both reflects American values and contributes to the American experience. As an individual living in the United States, it is imperative that we learn about and understand our own culture. Today, I will give you a brief history of baseball in the United States. Second, I will tell you how American values are reflected in the game of baseball. And then finally, I will give you examples of baseball and popular culture. There is a long and detailed and often controversial history of baseball. However, I'll just give you a few important notes. Abner Doubleday is often considered to be the father of baseball. He invented it in Cooperstown, New York in 1839. Maybe some of you have been to Cooperstown, New York, where the Hall of Fame is, or even seen Doubleday Field. Well, according to some sources, including, including John Syrett's article, Baseball, the story of Doubleday is kind of a myth, and that baseball was really played far, far beyond, um, far, far in front of 1839. A lot of Americans, however, really want to claim baseball as their own and don't want to admit that baseball is a combination of two English games, hmm. cricket and rounders. Um, baseball has been an important part of American culture for over 100 years. In 1910, President Taft threw out the first pitch to begin the season. This was his way of recognizing baseball as an important part of American culture. After World War I, a lot of leaders were calling for a return to normalcy, which meant that everyone returning from war and workers go back to their daily you know, lives like it was before the war. This, grew, this caused a really, really great <coughs> significant attendance increase in baseball games because baseball was a part of Americans' normal life. During World War II, there was a push for integration of African-American baseball players. Finally, in 1947, Jackie Robertson Robinson was saved, signed by the Brooklyn Dodgers and broke the color barrier. The development of baseball and its history, tied to America's history, leads us to wonder why the game itself is so important. Americans relate to baseball because it reflects accepted values. According to Mary Elroy and Kent Carwright in the Journal of American Culture, the relationship of baseball and nature reflects America's agrar agrarian roots. The open field and green grass make Amer Americans feel um, a relationship and a tie to the earth and to nature. Americans also value intelligence and athleticism. In, be in baseball, a player must have a diversity of talents. They must be able to throw and catch and run and hit and field and slide and do all these things, and Americans really value that diversity of talents. Also, if you look at the structure of baseball, it tells you a lot about how Americans value their leisure time. A lot of people consider baseball to be a relaxed, laid-back kind of game. Yet at the same time, it can be very exciting. The innings change quickly, so one team goes from the field and then at bat and then back again, all in a short matter of time. Also, many things can be occurring at once. The ball can be hit into the outfield, and a fielder can be making a play while the hitter is running the bases. In addition, Americans value the combination of the individual and teamwork that is incorporated in baseball. A lot of the things you do in baseball, such as batting or fielding, are individual tasks. However, it doesn't matter how, a player, how successful a player is individually if their team is not successful. Because of baseball's cultural significance, its impact reaches far beyond the ballpark and into many other aspects of life, such as movies, music, and novels. This is because people relate to baseball, and a lot of people in America truly enjoy it. One novel, <laughs> The Natural by Bernard Malamide, um, is about baseball, and it talks about the lack of a clock in baseball and how this relates to youth and innocence in just kind of a relaxed atmosphere. An analysis in the Journal of American Culture talks about this lack of clock and its significance because if you think about a lot of other sports, most, almost all sports have some kind of a clock or um, something that's keeping time so that the game moves along, whereas baseball, because of its, its, um, its youthful and innocent origins, it doesn't require a clock. <clears throat> Another novel, The Boys of Summer, written by Roger Kahn, talks about baseball as an intergenerational sport, where a grandfather has passed it to the father who has passed it to the son, or in a lot of cases in um, modern day, girls have also participated in baseball, and it has been passed from parents to children. Um, so this is something that a lot of people can share and relate to. There have been a good number of movies as well that focus on baseball <coughs> this topic. 
Uh, one of my personal favorites is A League of Their Own. I don't know how many of you have seen that, but it's a great movie. And it's about the All-American Girls Baseball League, which during World War II, when a lot of the men were fighting overseas, people wanted to continue baseball, so they had girls play. And so this movie um, talks about that. And it's based, the entire story is not true, but it's based on a true story. A Field of Dreams is another pretty famous baseball movie. And this talks about the relationship of baseball and nature. Also, one of my personal favorites is Sandlot, which um, if you've seen it, you know the characters are very youthful and innocent and not too concerned about anything other than their friends in the summer and hanging out in baseball. Um, music also incorporates baseball. Some songs, such as Take Me Out to the Ball Game, were created specifically for a ballpark atmosphere. Whereas um, songs such as Center Field by John Fogarty were, um, were created in both music fans um, and baseball fans really enjoy it. So today, I have told you about the history of baseball in the United States. Second, I have described the American values it reflects and given examples of baseball in popular culture. A website titled The History of Baseball describes baseball as something that gives our people rest and recreation, myths and memories, heroes, history, and hope. As you can see, baseball is an essential part of American culture and has helped to define the American experience. So the next time you're playing catch or watching a game, whether it's on TV or outdoors, remember, baseball is more than just a game. Yeah, well, uh, yes, yes. I know, I feel like a terrible person. Yeah, you are. I know. <laughs>